What is up, everybody? It's your boy Hugh here from Creator Up. Recently, I posted a video of me hiking up Tabanga Trail and the epic sunset over there with my drone. And my 360 video came out GoPro Fusion and the E360 VR. And I posted the end result on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And a lot of viewers asked me, How do I actually create that really realistic looking 3D text on top of me and tracking it and have this really like amazing fly through event look like you're flying through an alien spaceship slowly approach it and then fly by it and, and they asked me how can I actually create that effect so in this tutorial I will provide you step by step how I create that so you can follow me along to recreate the same effect on your 360 video footage Before you start tracking and adding 3D text, first make sure your footage is ready to do that. I would suggest you have a really smooth drone footage and also get rid of the drone first. Uh, as you see in this footage, I already removed the drone using my Technique 1, which is using a Photoshop to paint the drone out. So if you want to learn how to do that, it's a tutorial right here. Or you can use Technique 2 and 3, which is in an upcoming tutorial. Uh, and also, uh, I make sure the footage is really, really stabilized using Mystica VR. Uh, you can use Mystica VR, you can use Mocha VR, you can use After Effects or use any plugin, third party plugin to make sure your footage is absolutely stabilized first uh, before also do this process because if not, you take the realism out of the viewer. So, two things before you go into this process is drone removal and stabilization. After you did that and then finish your edit, uh, here is the clip I want to insert. So after that, you want to decide which from which part to which part you want the 2 test to insert in the footage. So uh, you don't need to track the entire sequence. So around right here, I want the test to show up. So go ahead and using a scissor tool to cut this part out. And then around right here, I want the test to completely fade out. Right here, completely fade out. So cut it right here. So this is the part uh, I need to insert the 3D text. So go ahead and right click and replace with After Effects Composition and go ahead and open After Effects right here. So it will bring in all the footage right here. Great. So after I brought in the necessary footage in After Effects, now I want to track this. So how can you actually track this 360 VR footage? There's a many ways to track it. You can use After Effects to track it, the 3D tracker, or you can use Metal, Metal Skype out, uh, also we call it the Immersive VR tool in the brand new Adobe Premiere. And you can use that to help to track it. But for this special footage and for actually a lot of footage, I found that the track King is always fail um, because a lot of lot of reason and everybody know that if you work with uh, Doctor Effect Three D Tracker is not that reliable. So uh, in here, uh, among all the plugin I tried, one plugin that I actually really enjoy is the Canva 360 right here. And there is a free version and there's a pro version of it. Uh, pretty sure the free version can also do the same thing. So go ahead and download that in AE Script and install that. So what am I gonna use Canvas 360 for? So Canvas 360, you can use that just like the metal Skype out. You can track 360 footage, stabilize, and also insert. One of the big thing is insert 3D object into the scene easily. And easier than the metal Skype out plugin. Uh, so that's why I picked this plugin. So uh, step one is actually go ahead and create a project to brought in this footage. So go ahead and right here. In under the so if you don't see this panel after install camera to city, go open the window right here. Make sure check that and it should be open as a window. You can dock it on your side panel and then go ahead and hit add new project. So this window will show up. So one thing is really easy, you can just create a composition based on the 360 footage you have in here. So I'll just use the first option. Uh, and then the project then should be 3D track. And then the media is the sky removal right here, sky removal dash one. And then canvas will read the other information and create a comm exactly like that. So it's really convenient. So now the comm is created. Great. So uh, as you see, now we get 
the 360 view that you used to in YouTube and Facebook, which is great. So now you can pan around and look at the footage to figure out uh, what do you want to do next. Uh, that's a one great feature that comes with the Canvas 360. So in here, this is the area I want to track and I want to make the 2D text sit above me uh, and always going to be there floating around like an alien spaceship. And I want to create this fly through effect to it. So I need to track uh, this this little platform right here and make sure the text location is always relative to the platform uh, when the drone fly in close up like that, like right, right in close up. To do that, first, uh, in Canvas 360, there's this view called POV to help you to track. So what is POV? It's point of view. So why not we look at this as a point of view? But as you see, when we fly through it, the tracking platform actually go out of frame right here. So uh, the goal to create a tracking POV is make sure that the frame is always looking at the tracking information. So AE know, so after event know where to exactly looking for information. So I'm gonna do exactly that. So go ahead and look at a walking camera orientation. So go ahead and insert a keyframe first. So the first couple frame, the platform is still in frame from here. So I go out of frame. So kind of move the camera like that. Just make sure that it's in frame. So just like that. And then continue move, move, move. From here, start going out of frame again. So just do like that. So as you see the screen, uh, the screen actually flip upside down right now, but it's okay because that's just asking the camera to look at this information. Uh, your final version actually not gonna be like that. So now I create a tracking camera transition that the camera always looking for the stuff we are tracking in the entire frame, uh, even go upside down. So that's great. So after that, you want to create a tracking view. So right here, uh, I named this new view. POV is tracking POV and go ahead and save it. So now as you see right here, the POV pass, I have the default front, which is uh, the original one, untouched, it's always gonna be there. And then I have a special tracking POV that is tracking the platform while the drone fly through, which is great. So the next thing is go ahead and track it. So Hit the tab tracking, it's right here. And then the tracking pass is the drone step dash one uh, dot MOV, just right here. This one is actually a sky replacement, so you're not gonna check on this. This is just a PNG file, as you see right here. That is a movie file, that's the file you wanna track. So go ahead and pick that. And then a the point of view, instead of the default font, we wanna use the one we just created, the track POV. And then it's a moving camera because the drone is flying. Let's go ahead and track camera in after effect. So the let after effect to do is magic. And here it's gonna take for a while. So just go ahead and go grab a coffee. Uh, I will come back when it's done. Okay, now after effect finish tracking, duty tracking the scene and also create a lot of like uh, point crowd uh, in the scene. That is what we need to actually uh, to do the next step. So in here, just zoom out a little bit. What I really want is, why well, not it's actually a perfect like shape. I want to like insert this, uh, the text right above here, uh, level with the scene right here. So that's why I want to create a point uh, and solid is actually like in the same level of the platform. So right here, that's the perfect. So if you hover your mouse, uh, after that we try to like, Think about which plane you want to track. So right here, this is the perfect. So just go ahead, right click on this like uh, circle target thing and create a node and a camera right here. So that is the node object gonna attach to my 3D object. I can make the object follow the movement of the camera. So great. So we have that now. So the next step uh, in Canvas 360 is go ahead and set the node object and the 3D tracking camera right here. And then uh, see here, select layer, select the camera and the point cloud, which is the no object right here. And then point of view is the tracking POV, it's already selected. And go ahead and add tracking data. And then now we have the workable tracking data and the no object right here. 
So uh, I can attach literally anything in this low object. Uh, it will actually flow right in the 2D space. So uh, let's, for example, uh, I can easily just create a text layer. Uh, let's just type my name on it. So let's turn this text into a 3D object. Now it disappeared. It's all right though. We basically just go ahead and copy the position. So if you hit P, open a position and just copy the no object position to the text position to go ahead and paste that. So now the text is in the same position as the tracking no object. But again, as you see, the text is way too small here. So go ahead and hit scale and just blow this plot up. So now you see the text is actually sit on top of the no object, but I want it facing front of the scene. So go ahead, open position right here. And actually, you can open rotation right here. Just rotate the Y, the text. So make sure it's facing me. And then I want to push it up because I want to sit on top of the platform. So hit P on position and just drag the Y value, or you can just grab this Y value, this green arrow. Make sure that got that Y value and move it up. Kind of like that. So go ahead, if you play the sequence, you see that the camera actually move around with the text. Again, we are, if you go back to camera 360 right here, we are still in the POV view. So if you go into stabilized view. So again, Canvas Simplicity also have an add-on benefit is after you track, it actually stabilizes your footage for free, uh, which is amazing. And the stable version is actually really good. So if you go ahead and play that, uh, hit C came out too, so actually facing the front of the scene. So now this is the stabilized scene that Basically, the final result you see if you scrub through the timeline, you see that you fry through the 2D text. If you pan around, you see the text still there. Now you just go into the back of the text. Again, the text is not a 2D object. It's just a flat 2D object or turn into a 2D element. So you still look kind of weird, but that is how I create the realistic video. You saw that I uh, have this uh, 2D info infographic overlay to point out the, the how, um, the layout of everything. That is how I did that with 2D element. So if you don't want to use canvas to do that, this is the other way to check your footage. I'll just show you uh, right here. I will select this scene, go ahead and do the same thing and replace the after effect composition. The reason why I'll pick a small part is canvas have a way to track the entire scene. As you see, I can pan around to have a tracking POV, but uh, this way uh, we actually don't have that. So to in order to not fail the the 3D tracking, uh, we pick a smaller portion of the scene to track and track it three times if you need to keep track the whole thing. But let's go ahead and replace the after effect footage. So this time I gonna use Metal Skype to track this. Hit window, open the VR com editor right here. So here is Metal Skype panel. It just died. Canvas 60 is also a dotted panel. You can use that. And in here, because uh, eventually I'm going to add in a C4D file or Element 3D file, they're all 2D plugin. So basically, I want to add a 2D edit. Let's go ahead and hit right here. And then make sure that you pick the scene, which is the Sky Remote Dash 1. Um, that is the comp side. It's fine. We use a 2D node camera, but I am using a 2D plugin eventually. So go ahead and add a 2D edit. And you see, I already added a 3D edit. If you hit C, camera tool, you can do the same thing as you see in canvas, which is cool. Uh, I gonna track this scene. So I'm gonna go ahead, hit the property, bring up property window. And then on here, you go ahead and hit apply AE 2D camera tracker right here. And then gonna do the same thing. AE after effect 2D camera tracker gonna analyze your entire scene in the background. But for this one, they're actually going to track the entire 360 view. Uh, so it's probably going to take a longer time, uh, have higher chance to fail. But let's go ahead and see if it can successfully track the scene for us. So now after if I finish tracking the scene, uh, and then go ahead and hit here to create a camera. And now you see the same point cloud you see on camera 360. So after that, go ahead and again, do the same thing. So find a flat one. There's a pretty flat one. Right click right here. 
and create a, a no object. And then go ahead and set the no object. See the object is right here. It's perfect. Uh, so it's not as good as the tracking POV that we don't have the feature in here. So try not to move the camera around. If not, we'll mess up your scene. So go ahead and just right here. Uh, again, add the text. Make that as a 3D object. And then go ahead and copy the no object position, Sam's idea, into the position of uh, the text. So now let's just go ahead and rotate it. If you don't see it, just make it, you know, scale, just make it super big so you can actually see it. Now you see it, right? And then go back to rotation. So I make something mistake right here. So uh, remember, remember that we have the tracking scene. We connect the node. The last step is to actually make sure to hit property. Select the node object. Select actually the, the hue object and hit track scene. So now you see the thing is tracking it. Uh, so if you go now, go ahead and open. Uh, I also happen to know that uh, the camera in front is actually right in this direction. So I go ahead and just pan it like that. Like that, and then if you open up the open output render, and as you see, the hue is right now uh, is tracking right uh, right here perfectly on the scene. Uh, it's hard to see in the eco rectangular. Don't worry about it. Uh, you can actually go ahead and open the the metal globe preview right here. So in here, you should be able to see the text. Let's go in there. So now if you play it, look at look at right here. In the global preview. It had the same result as the camera 360. Probably not as good as camera 360, uh, you can adjust that, uh, but uh, it's the same idea. So you can also do that with the metal skybox after effect immersive video plugin. Again, now just go ahead and take a break, drink some coffee, eat some food, go walk around. And when you're ready for the next part, come back in in the next video right here. And the next video, I'll teach you how to use composition technique to make 3D object gel into the entire scene. So if you like this video, if you like this video again, please give me a thumb up. And if you have any question about uh, the technique we teach here, don't hesitate to comment below and I'll do my best to answer you to help you out uh, so you can create the same result that you want. And I will see you in the next video.